Hello world, Dino Mega here, and today I'm excited to introduce you to my Unreal Engine 5 quest system. This easy to use blueprint system gives you all the tools you need to add quests to your game. This system was designed to be flexible, you can use any actor in your level as part of your quest, even just a static mesh. So how exactly does it work? This system uses actor tags to drive everything. This is great because if you already built your level, you don't have to worry about needing to redo anything. You use your current actors as starting points, turn in points, or even quest objectives. All you need to do is tag them. Quests can have prerequisites, including requiring other quests to be completed first, which can be used to let you create quest chains. I also included an easy way for you to tap in your own prerequisite logic. And quests can start at multiple locations or turn in at multiple locations. Your quest can even start in one level and turn in or have objectives in another. And there's even a save system which will handle saving and loading everything related to quests for you. Each quest can have multiple objectives and this system is set up to let you easily make your own. Included you'll find objectives to travel to an actor, interact with an actor, pick up an actor, defeat an actor, and a jump off point to give required items provided by your own inventory system to an actor. When the state of a quest shifts, like when you accept a quest or turn one in, you can fire off custom logic, like spawning or removing actors in your level or giving items to the player. I call these quest events and I've included the ones I mentioned as well as an example to play a cutscene. The state of a quest can also be controlled externally from custom logic in your game. Quests also have a variety of reward options from guaranteed rewards where the player gets all of the items to choice rewards where the player can only pick one of the items. And of course, a set of numeric rewards for things like experience, currency, and reputation. Each reward type has its own function to let you easily tap it into your other systems. To get started, I've included quest types for a main story quest line, side quests, and repeatable quests. The key difference between the quest type is the styling of the indicator and the UI. The main story and side quests function the exact same way. The repeatable quest type works just like the others, but also includes the additional logic needed to make the quest available again once it's completed by the player. Indicators are based on the quest state and can be customized for each quest type. You can change the mesh, materials, animation, easing, animation speed, and even play the animation in reverse. Dino, this sounds great, but how hard is it to implement into my project and make Quest? That's an excellent question, Timmy. Implementation is super simple. Just attach a component to your player controller and it will handle the rest. You make your Quest by adding data to a data table, and the way you connect your Quest to actors in your level is through actor tags. I have step-by-step -step instructions with multiple videos and full documentation to help guide you through it. I created this system to give you a solid jump off point, but if there are any specific features you would like to see me add, or if you have any questions or find any bugs with this or any of my other blueprint systems, please let me know. I'm also going to be adding a number of video tutorials to this channel to explore adding additional content to the system. And if there's a tutorial you would like to see, please leave a comment below. You can find links to this asset as well as the playable demo and the documentation in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and good luck with your game.